So in this chapter, we will learn how to build tabbed applications. Okay, so what is a tabbed application? A tabbed application is just a view with tabs on the top of this view. So these tabs helps to, uh, to switch the main view of your application. Okay, so this component is extremely difficult to understand uh, at the first sight. So we can imagine that this is a simple component with a fragment. Okay, some buttons and the fragments. Okay, we can build that, but tab host component is doing more than that. There are two elements. The first one is a set of tabs. And the second one is the frame layout that we will use to display some contents. So, first of all, let's define a GUI. So we define a tab host, which will uh, embed the different tabs and views. And this tab host is composed of a linear layout. This linear layout is composed of a tab widget. And this is not the end. We have a frame layout and then two views and so on. So how does it work? First of all, here we can see that our frame layout will handle two elements. These two elements will be the views that will be displayed in the main part of our application. Okay, if we go back to the previous slide, we can observe that tab widgets, tab widgets is the element that will be displayed on the top of the, our application and that will provide tabs for our application. Okay. So, now that we have defined the GUI, we can set up our, app, our, our tab host. So, how we can do that? First, during the onCreate method, we call the super and we set the content view, as usual. Then, we grab the tab host. Then we have to trigger the setup method for this tab host, okay? This setup method will instantiate all we need for this component. Then we have to specify for each tab which I, what is the name of this tab and what is the main view for this tag. Okay? So this is done using new tab spec, tag one. So here I'm creating a new tab and I specify that the content of this new tab is r.id.tab1 and I specify that the main view of this tab will be r.id.tab1. I already say that. And then I can go through that. Okay, so I have two things that are important. The first one is each tab as a as an new ID and each tab then have an indicator and this indicator is the title that will be displayed for each of these tabs. Okay, and so I create my first tab and then my second tab. So how tabs work? Tabs works pretty much like fragments. <coughs> so when you click on some tabs, some activity will be triggered and the activity will be displayed on the remaining part of the screen. So this is pretty close to fragments, okay? So, you click, an activity is run and displayed. So when you click, you can trigger uh, some events and here we can see that to do that we just have to build a new intent saying what's happening when we click on tab 2 and when we click on tab 2 we will set content with a new intent and this intent will be 
spawn when we click on the, the button. When we, you have tabs, you may also want to replace this tab with some specific view. You can do that uh, by creating a new text view and defining this new text view as the content for your tab. So you can have tabs with icons and so on. So now what's happening when you have a lot of tabs? Two options. The first one is to have small, 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 small tabs in order to be able to display all your tabs inside of your screen white. Okay? The other option is to define a scrolling tab view, which helps you to have tabs that are clickable, but you can scroll to have the other tabs. Okay? So to do that, it's quite simple. You just have to embed your tab widget inside of an horizontal scroll view or vertical or whatever. And so all the tabs of your application will be in a scroll view. So to sum up, uh, tab host make application user friendly uh, because we can have as many tabs as we want and we can display it easily using a scroll view. Uh, you can define and configure uh, this tab host through uh, dedicated views and dedicated activities. And you can also mix this with fragments in order to have more complex views and more reusable views.